you'd uh, you'd wrestle Vic Grimes as your first title defense. Do you have any memories of uh, working with a big guy like Vic? Yeah, Vic was big. I mean, like really big, like wide. You know, he he had a lot of volume to his body. I mean, the guy had to be probably 370, 380. Uh, he wasn't that tall, maybe 5'10", 5'11", uh, but he had a lot of a lot of body size. He was a really hard dude to move. And uh, but but he did pretty well. I he he got up for me on a few occasions that I was pretty pretty impressed by his size. Well, listen, buddy, it's time for you to uh, drop the belt. And in early August, August you'd lose to Steve Bradley. Steve Bradley, yes. And yes. Jim Jim Cornout uh, would come out. I, I didn't lose much. I only lost like one. Dark yeah. match. I only lost one match against Steve Bradley. Uh, they, they really protected me pretty well, both in Power Pro Wrestling and during the WWE Dark matches. And Jim Cornette's instrumental in the loss, right? He helps Bradley get the win from you. Uh, but here you go. Like you said, you lost. This is different for you. You haven't lost much. How was that for your first you know what? loss? For me, all I cared about at this particular time was having a good match. It didn't matter okay. if I won or lost. I never even kept tabs on how many wins I had or even how many losses I had. All that matters is that I was keep getting better and that I had great matches. Talk about working with Jim Cornette down in Memphis. He was genius, man. Uh, he's crazy as hell. I'm not going to lie to you, but uh, he has great ideas and concepts. He's, he has a great mind for the business. I love his old school, uh, you know, um, prognosis on wrestling. He really uh, likes to, to be old school. He likes good guy versus oh, bad yeah. guy. Really good uh, chain wrestling, in-ring psychology. Uh, he likes to keep it basic and simple, and I, I like that too. Clip there, uh, Kurt. There was a fun angle uh, that I want to play for you real quick. It's you, Steve Bradley, Jim Cornette, and they're trying to put you in a freezer. Do you remember this? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> here we go. Let's check it out. The Power Hour. And wild things have been going on around here, including last night over in uh, Blytheville, Arkansas. Uh, take a look at this action from uh, matches. Which that's Jim Cornette with this the uh, sport coat. Actually, after the match in the kitchen area of the concession stands over in Blytheville. Yeah. Steve Bradley working on Kurt Angle back in that kitchen area, and just running wild after the matches were over. Yeah, there's Obviously, Cornette. Cornette continuing on his project to try to hurt everybody. Cornette throwing all those carts on uh, Angle right there. Yeah, they're running his head into the what is a, a freezer or cabinets or something. Man. And then getting all the uh, delivery cartons and anything they can find. And just working Kurt over. Ah, oh, no, he's not over. That's a freezer over there he's got open. Cornette and Bradley in the, uh, again, this is from last night's action over in Blytheville, Arkansas, Power Pro Wrestling. This is after the match. And, yeah, that's putting him in that freezer there. Uh, yeah, Cornette with that tennis racket. They're trying to, we're trying to get him in the uh, in the deep freeze there in that, uh, in that big freezer. Oh, oh fire extinguisher. And there is oh, Brandon, Brandon Baxter. Baxter behind that thing. The matchmaker out there to, uh, to help rescue. Uh, so, Kurt, listen, this is, uh, at least from us watching, your first real exposure to the E, the entertainment part of wrestling. What did you think <laughs> of this whole thing? Uh, it was dumb as hell, but you know what? It's just another experience that I got to got to do, and you know, it it was kind of um, lame. Yeah. <laughs> but, but I mean, you know, it, it was something I could work with. And it and, and you know, they're doing all this and and the hoopla and and the gaga, if you want to call it, because the the plan is to book you in a thirty minute marathon match against Steve Bradley. Bradley gets the win, but here you are, your first 30-minute match. Were you nervous about it? Oh, my God, yeah. I never went longer than 10 minutes at this particular time. And now they want me to go 30. I was like, holy shit. But you know what? I sucked it up, and I and I, I dug my heels in, and I, I think I did a pretty good job.